This tape has a screenshot from their wife. It says AMC, Entertainment Holding Stock Predictions by 2025. And it's kind of hard to read here, but it does say that by 2024, the prediction would be $9.50 per share. By 25, 18, 12, by 26, 34, 55, 27, 65, 87, 28, $125.60, by 2029, 239, and by 2030, $456.57. Now I want you guys to be honest, comment down below what your true AMC Entertainment stock prediction is going to be by the year 2030. This ape says a whole team of well-paid, educated professionals just decided that now was an excellent time to buy AMC. They didn't buy a little either. They bought an F-ton. So just in the National Bank of Canada, just loaded the boat buying over 14.3 million worth of AMC stock. And it was filed just as of recently. And you might be asking, well, what is the average share price? $5.21 a share. Now, they also hedged it with 43.7K input contracts, lending until the MOAS, then recall. You know, things might be eating up when we see some big buyers dip their toes again. Get ready, apes. This ape says VWAGY, 64 million shares shorted in 2008. GME, 71.2 million shares shorted. And AMC, 94.5 million shares shorted. Get the picture yet? If you don't see how big this is going to explode, then history never taught you a darn thing. Comment down below if you think the AMC squeeze is still ahead of us, or if you think it's nothing but something of the past. This is pretty crazy. Finra recently fined five other brokerages. Finra recently fined five other brokerages for compliance failures related to the broker-dealer standard and conduct, regulation best interests, and related disclosure document from CRS. The agency found that some firms lacked policies and procedures to ensure that their registered representatives adhere to Reg BI, which prohibits them from putting their financial interests ahead of their customers' interests in achieving as high of a return as possible. Some firms miss deadlines for making available form CRS, which outlines a firm's services, fees, conflicts of interest, disciplinary history, and other information, or omit it required information from the form. Now, five of these brokerages were fined a total of only 185000 these fines were DMK Advisor Group, they are fined 35K, Harpeth Securities, 35, Highlander Capital, $5,000, Axo, 75,000, and American Wealth Management, 35,000. Comments down below if you think these fines are big enough, or what you think should happen when firms break the rules.